guys, welcome to my first tutorial video. Today, I wanted to actually tell you guys about a type of block that I only recently learned about, but there is a type of block in Minecraft that can make it to where you can basically import worlds, or no, sorry, I meant import builds from one world to the next. Now, I've had a lot of problems with this, you know, I've been looking for like mods and stuff like that that might actually be able to import large builds and things like that from one world to the next. I keep running into this thing, sorry. <laughs> but I've been looking for something that would take it to where, like, if I built something really big, you know, like, for instance, this pixel art here, I wanted to make something actually go from one world to a completely different world. And I was wondering, how was that going to be possible, you know, using command blocks? Well, as it turns out, I can't really do it with command blocks. I, I'm not really finding any very useful mods, especially not for 1.12.2. Like, 1.7.10 and 1.8 seem to be the only only versions that seem to have any sort of mods similar to what I'm looking for, but nothing has really exactly what I'm looking for. You know, just things like guidelines to follow and stuff. So, I found out about this new block, which you can actually get by, if you just type into the chat here... It's a really complicated command, okay? Like, this is one of the most complicated commands you can possibly... <laughs> you can hear the smile in my voice. <laughs> Give pixel heart. Okay, obviously you do your name. Minecraft structure block. Legendary. It's such a hard command. I'm kidding, okay? <laughs> I'm just messing with you guys. It's 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 easy to get a, a structure block. I'm sorry. I just wanted to mess with you here. Here, say that was complicated, but yeah, not really all that funny. Anyways, what I'm getting at though is that if you want to load a big world, a big a large build into another world, all you have to do here is you access the structure block. Now, right now, this is at a data. It's, it, it's called a data block, okay? And then there's several different modes that you can put this structure block into. What you do is that if you're wanting to save a build, you click save, you name your build. Like, let's, let's say that we're going to make, um, okay, let's, let's say that we're going to put the flash as a build, okay? Let's say we wanted to save that as a, a, a thing, okay? I'm going to real quick move this a little closer. It doesn't really matter how close it is. Like, well, I guess it kind of does, but it doesn't really matter where you have it at first. What I'm doing though is that I'm going to put down save mode, okay? And let's say we just want to save this pixel art as the flash, all right? So right now it's got it saved, but when you click detect, when you click detect, it basically will put a bounding box that puts where your build is. It basically selects all of the build that you are looking at. But if you click detect, you're gonna get this. Unable to detect structure size. Add corners with matching structure names. Now this goes on to the next step, okay? When I first tried to load something like that, I was wondering what it meant by corners. Corners is another type of structure block, which there isn't different types of structure blocks so much as you just click this button and it will save, load, that sort of thing. But this, if you click, keep clicking until it says corner mode, this actually makes it to where you have a corner of your build. Now, whatever your build's name is, you're going to want to name it the same thing. So, but this is the corner block, which means you're going to have to have one of these corner blocks at just outside the lower corner of your build and just outside the upper corner of your build. Now, these are, the pixel art's kind of different than most builds because it's only one block wide, which means that the next block that I put up there, I'm going to have to put one up way up at the tippy top, and it's going to have to be directly across from this corner. So, for instance, I would have to put a structure block right here. Otherwise, if I put it directly going for with that, go, going with this one, it's only going to take up all the air right next to it. So you're going to want to have something that actually selects all. Now, first, you want to name, you want to make this a corner block. Corner, and then we're going to name it the same thing, the flash. Okay? 
So now, to get something up here, to get a structure block up here, you can just put a set block command, that sort of thing, but honestly it's just super easy if you just build a little thing over here. And as you can see, you want to make sure that you have all of your build. For instance, the head may be up here, like you could put a structure block up here, but if you did, you'd be cutting off like his arm and his toe, you know, that sort of thing. So you want to make sure that you've got enough space to collect the whole build. Now, you can adjust that later, so it's okay if it's a little bit off off the thing right now. Like, in, like I'm probably a block or two off. But, let's just say I've got this, and I'm going to put the structure block here. Okay? So now that we have one block upwards... Oh, hold on. I'm actually going to have to put this up one block more. Oh, whoops. You can just shift-click to put ones on top of each other. But, we're going to sit, put this as another corner mode. This is an upper corner, but it has the same name. That way it doesn't get confused. Okay? The flash and the flash. Make sure that these have the same names, because if these do not have the same names, it will not register as corners. So now, we're going to go as if we were going to do it now. We're going to click Detect. Okay. Now, as you can see, there is a bounding box here, which it's really incredible that, they, that this stuff is actually in here. But, the bounding box makes sure that whatever is in between these two corners is selected. Now, if you want to be really specific, you'll notice that I've got one block outside here. You know what I mean? It's not perfect. You know, there's one block outside there. There's one block too, that's a little too high up here. If you wanted to select just the build, like very specifically. So, in order to fix that, all you have to do is make sure that you have the numbers correctly. Like, for instance, this says the X, Y, Z, Y is your height, which means that if you wanted to raise it up, you know, you could put on two, and then that would, like, lift this whole thing upwards, despite where the corners are. As long as it knows where the basic corners are, you can then fidget it and, like, mess with it until you have exactly what you need. So now it's 13 blocks tall, which means we're... Oh, oh wait. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, that's the position. Okay. It's 24 blocks tall, which means that you're going to want to do 23 if you want to fix that upper part. See? So now, it's no longer one block too tall. It's exactly where it needs to be. And now for encasing the foot one more, I believe it's this one. 21. Oh, no, nope, nope, wrong one. Sorry. <laughs> okay, 23, 23. Okay, it looks like I did that wrong again. But either way, now it's equal. And it is encased the entire build. Now, if I fidget with this a little more, I can get it more exact. Like, for instance, well, not so much more exact. But you can actually make this thicker if you want. Like, if you clicked on this, this is the width, which means that you would have four. This would make it wider. Instead of just one pixel wide, it could encase more things. So, basically, you get the general idea of that. You're going to want to just have one because the pixel art is only one pixel wide. Obviously, for larger builds, you're probably going to want to have larger um, amounts of pixels. But, do keep into consideration that whenever you load a build into a world, or you make a world like this, or, or you make a build like this, the structure block will only contain 32 blocks at a time. 32 by 32 by 32, which means... If you have a build that's bigger than that, like this, which I actually <laughs> learned, this Iron Man head is like 50-something blocks tall, I think. So you're going to have, normally you'd have some issues when you tried to load something like this. So what I actually did was I saved this as, when I imported this into another world, I saved it into six quadrants. But, for, but we'll get onto that later. First, I'm explaining how you can actually load this into another world. If you see here, we've got everything saved. So now, we've already detected it, but we have not saved it yet. Do not click this save. This is not the save button, this is the switch to another mode button. If you do that, you might like mess up a lot. So, just click save, and there we go. Structure saved as the flash. Okay, now you can delete this if you want, or you can just leave everything. But, now, we're going to want to go into the Minecraft folder. What I do is I actually go to Resource Packs, open the Resource Pack folder, and then it's like instantly you're in the Minecraft folder. Now, it's, it's kind of a little glitchy here with my recorder, but if you go here, 
you're in the resource packs, so you just click upward, scroll down until you click saves. Okay, now this world that I'm building in right now is called GG Gamer Builds because this is actually a um it's something I'm working on for a Bedwars map, so that's that's why it's called GG Gamer Builds. Um GG Gamer is the server we play on a lot. But if you go to structures, this structures folder now has an item called the flash. This is what you want if you want to put it into another world, okay? Now this structures folder was not here before you saved the structure. Beforehand, it would the world didn't have any didn't have any sort of structure thing, okay? Which means once you build a structure, it automatically creates this folder. Now, let's say that I wanted Hold on. Oh darn, I just exited out of Minecraft. <laughs> Okay, so, <laughs> sorry about that guys, I accidentally clicked the wrong thing and it exited out of Minecraft. But, anyways, so let's say that I wanted to put that, the flash build that we just built from GG Gamer Builds, and I wanted to put it into, let's say, Snow World, okay? Now, Snow World has snow builds yet. <laughs> okay, it has no builds yet, but we're going to add it. Just give me one sec. Just gotta let it load the terrain. Okay, so we are in this new world here, and it's taking a little while to render. Sorry about that. It is covered in snow. Okay, so this does not have any builds yet. All right, it's just a, a blank world. You know, uh, one of the presets. We're gonna set down a structure block. Now let's say that we wanted to load that the flash build in. We're going to go to load mode, okay? And we're going to type in the flash, okay? Now we click load. As you can see, it says structure the flash is not available, okay? This is because this world does not have a structures folder. Now we're going to go to options, resource packs, open resource pack folder. Now we click go up. We go down to saves. Now, this is snow world. And then this, or this one here is Snow World, and then this one here is GG Gamer Builds. We made the structure in GG Gamer Builds, which means we're going to copy the structures folder. Copy. Okay. Well, actually, no. We're actually going to go into the structures folder and copy whatever build you have. Okay. So we're copying the flash. Now, let's say we want to put it in here. We're going to want to make a new folder because this does not have a structures folder yet. So we're going to name it Structures. In Snow World, okay, we're, we're naming it structures, but it's in Snow World. And now we're going to click paste. Now we've got the flash in a structures folder. Now that this world has what it needs, we're going to try this again. Click load, and it says structure the flash position prepared. Now, as you can see, this has the whole bounding box that the flash would have. Now, as you can see, this is in the way of one of the trees. Let's say that we wanted to flip it to where it would actually be in a different direction. All we have to do is click one of these buttons down here, such as 90 degrees, it's going to flip it that way. 180, it's going to flip it that way. We click 270, it's going to be facing us. So, let's say that I just wanted to load it in uh, 180, okay? As you can see, it's one block above the ground, and the structure when we saved it was directly flush with the ground. So we're going to click this, put this to zero, okay? That makes it directly level with the ground. As you can see, it moved down one block. And we don't really want it to come in the way of the structure block, so let's just click one. Oh, sorry, negative one, actually, because it's to the right. So negative one, and there we go. Now we're going to load the position. And there we go. We have just loaded, that's just the rendering, hold on. We have just loaded a build from one build to the next. Now, as you can see, part of it is missing. I'm not sure why that happened, because that's never happened before, but 
That is how you load one build from one build from one world to another. Now, honestly, this has been really fidgety with me, so I don't know why it's missing that top half. That should not have happened under any circumstances. Every time I've loaded this, it's happened, but I've already... <laughs> I've tried this like five times before. So, let's just try to load this again and see if it happens the same way, okay? So, let's say we're going to do it by 270, all right? And now, let's raise this by 2, okay? So, it's going to be upwards a bit, but let's load it again. Now, as you can see, it has the same mistake, and I have no idea what's going on. Oh, goodness gracious! I am so sorry, guys. This world... <laughs> this is the worst world for me to have loaded a structure into. The reason the Flash is missing the top part of his hat... His top part of his head is not because of the structure blocks. It's because this world is actually got 300 blocks below it, which means that it just came under the building barrier. Okay, so guys, under any normal circumstances, it would not cut off that part, okay? So, don't think that it didn't work. It's just because of the world I loaded it into, okay? But, you get the basic idea. If you want to load a build into the world, I suggest don't put it at the building limit, okay? But, <laughs> To end today's video, that is how you use structure blocks, and I am sorry for the glitches, but I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you guys did understand how to do it. <laughs> anyway, uh, I've, I, I can't believe that happened, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope this helps you all with all of your wanting to put things into other builds. You can do this with, like, houses and 3D builds, you know, not just pixel art, not just flat things, but you can do anything that's 32 by 32 by 32. And, of course, if you've got something bigger than that, you can just save it in segments, like, as far as, like, one half and then another half, and then just save it as, like, let's say that the Flash was too big to be saved as one build, you'd save it as, like, the Flash 1 and the Flash 2, like, Flash left half, right half, you know, that sort of thing, if you wanted to do that. But, probably explain that at a different time. Hope you guys enjoyed, and see you later. Happy gaming. Pixel Heart out.